Now here the question is, let T be a line passing through the points P, Q and let F1 be set of all points of circle such that T is tangent to S1 at P and tangent to S2 at Q and also such that S1 and S2 touch each other at a point say M. Let even be the set representing the locus of M as the pairs S1, S2 varies in F1. Let the set of all line segments joining a pair of distinct points of E1 and passing through all the points R be F2. Let A2 be set of midpoints of line segments on the set F2. Then which of the following statement is or are true? Now we are given this straight line. And we have two points on this line and there are two circles which touches the straight line at these points P and Q. So we have two points on this line and there are two circles. Now suppose this is your point P minus 2 comma 7 and Q is 2 comma minus 5. This is S1 and this is S2 and this set is F1. Suppose their centers are at C1 and C2. And they touch each other at this point M. So this F1 is set of all circles and E1 is set of locus of M as S1, S2 varies. Let's set of all straight line segment joining pair of distinct points of E1 passing through point 1 comma 1. Now let us draw this perpendicular line from M. So this is 90. Let's join these two lines. Now this is 90 and this is 90. And we have joined P with M and Q with M. Now let this angle be theta. Then this angle here will be theta. Then angle at the center will be 2 theta. And this angle here will be pi minus 2 theta. In the same way, if this is alpha, then here it will be this 2 alpha. This angle will be pi minus 2 alpha. Now, some of these two angles, it is pi, so we can write 2 pi minus 2 theta plus alpha, it is equal to pi or theta plus alpha is equal to pi by 2. That means this angle PMQ, it is always 90 degrees. And if PMQ is always 90 degrees, then locus of M is circle with PQ as diameter. So basically this E1, which is locus of M, it is a circle drawn through PQ as diameter. So this E1 will be given by x plus 2 into x minus 2 plus y minus 7 into y plus 5 equals to 0. So this E1 will be given by x square plus y square minus 2y minus 39 equals 0 except these points p and q so this m it cannot take these two points p and q so we have to exclude these two points except p q so this is the locus of this point m and basically we can add this as 
एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई माइनस वन होल स्क्वायर इक्वल्स फोर्टी नाउ इट सेज वी हैव दिस सर्कल एंड ई टू सेट ऑफ मिड पॉइंट्स ऑफ दिस कॉर्ड सो ई टू सेट ऑफ मिड पॉइंट्स ऑफ द कॉर्ड विच पास थ्रू दिस पॉइंट वन कॉमन वन Now let this point be alpha beta. We know that equation of a chord whose midpoint is given, it is given by t equals s one. So in this case, this equation will be given by alpha x plus beta y minus two y plus beta point two minus thirty nine, and that will be equal to alpha square plus beta square minus two beta minus thirty nine. Now this minus thirty nine will cancel, and this chord it passes through one comma one. So we we'll put x as one and y as one. So we we'll get alpha plus beta minus one minus beta, and that will be equal to alpha square plus beta square minus two beta. Now here beta and beta will cancel, so we we'll get this locus as alpha square plus beta square minus alpha minus two beta. Plus one equals to zero. So locus of E two will be this circle, which is x square plus y square minus x minus two y plus one equals zero. Now we have to check the four options. So now we have the two locuses E one, which is x square plus y minus one whole square, and it is equal to forty, except the two points P and Q. P which is minus two comma seven and Q which is two comma minus five and this other locus which is E two and that is x square plus y square minus x minus two y plus one equals zero and since E two is midpoint of chord of this circle passing through one comma one so it'll have all the points except Chords which pass through P and Q. Since P and Q they are not included on E one, so any chord which starts from P and Q will also not be included in this second locus E two. Now we look at the options. Now the first option is point minus two comma seven lie on E one. Now minus two comma seven is basically Point P, which is not included on E one, so that means this option A is incorrect, and this option D is the point zero comma three by two does not lie on E one. So we'll put the value of x and y. We'll put x as zero, so it'll be this zero plus now three by two minus one is one by two, one by four. It is equal to forty, which is incorrect. That means it is correct that this point zero comma three by two it does not lie on E one. So that means this option D is correct. Now we look at this option B. Now we look at this option B. We are given this point four by five and seven by five, and it says it does not lie on E two. Now we put the value of x and y in E two, so we get sixteen by twenty five plus forty nine by twenty five minus four by five minus fourteen by five plus one. It is equal to zero. Now this is forty nine plus sixteen, sixty five by twenty five, which is Thirteen by five minus eighteen by five plus one, which is zero. That means this point it does lie on E two, but we have this other condition that any chord must not pass through P and Q. So we have to find whether this point four by five, seven by five, one comma one, and then P or Q, they are collinear or non-collinear. So we solve this determinant. So what we'll do is we'll take c1 minus c2 and c2 minus c3. Now four by five minus seven by five it is minus three by five, and seven by five minus one is two by five. This is one. This is zero zero one, and this is minus nine six and one. Now if we expand it about this second row. We'll get this as minus eighteen by five. And plus 18 by 5, and it is equal to 0. That means 
these three points, 4 by 5, 7 by 5, 1 comma 1 and P, they are collinear. So this chord will actually pass through P. And since the chord passes through P, this point, it cannot lie on E2. That means this option B is correct. So the point does not lie on E2, though it satisfies its equation. Now this third one is point 1 by 2 comma 1 lies on E2. So now we put the value of x as 1 by 2 and y as 1. So it will be this 1 by 4 plus 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 2 plus 1. So it will cancel and this is minus 1 by 4 which is unequal to 0. So this point C, it does not lie on E2. So the only correct options are B and D.